a while back about how Elijah got discouraged. Uh, he ran yeah. and got under a juniper tree yeah. and begged to die. Yeah. Uh, a great, a great, great man of God. And everyone in this room has faced discouragement in your life, amen. And uh, I'm not saying maybe you have on those. Uh, I, I just wish I would die. I've said it before. We get discouraged on, on things of that nature. But we don't need, need a word of encouragement. So we will go to the book of Romans tonight. Mm -hmm. You'll want to turn there. In the chapter 8. And I'm going to read a few verses here. I'm going to give you another scripture that's not really in, in that part of our text. I'll give this. I'll give this other way. Okay. We will start with verse 14 and go through some verses through here together, and share this. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. People will try to discourage you that you are not a son of God because of your human failures. I'm not saying it's in your human failure. We all, we all fail. Uh, our human sides fail. Yes, Sometimes I forget to set the alarm clock. That's a human failure. Amen. Yes, I don't get up on time. Amen. Yes, so human failures. But it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Yes. You're not being led by man. You're not being led by a person, yes. mm -hmm. not being led by your spouse, uh -huh. but they're led by God. Amen. 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 I pray that whatever church you attend, uh, I know we've got some visitors here in the house of God, that God led you here tonight, praise yes. God. Yes. You didn't come just because you wanted to come. I shared earlier at the very beginning how God had put in my spirit about a couple of months ago or so that I need to go visit my uncle. Mm -hmm. And God worked it out for a week. Well, that that would work that worked out this past nice Tuesday, yeah. and we had a wonderful, fantastic time with him and his wife. And I just thank thank God for that. We're led by God. God leads us to do the different great things, but we could need to allow the God, the Spirit of God, to lead us. Uh, amen. Now, people will try to uh, encourage you, or they try to pull you in another direction. Amen. amen. But we've got to stay on the course that God has put us on. Amen. As an example tonight, the the the, God, the Spirit of God put on on the uh, the sheriff's mind that he needed to be in this house tonight. Amen. Amen. And thank God, God led him here. Amen. For the beautiful singing, not only the beautiful singing, but the anointing singing that Amen. came from his lips tonight Amen. to the people of God. Amen. Amen. And we love him so much, dearly. Just if he had not sung one song, just being in our presence tonight, praise God. Amen. And him being in the presence of God tonight, glory to God. We must be led by God's Spirit, praise yes. God. Amen. God is not going to lead you astray to do something foolish and crazy. That's right. He goes on to for you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. At one time, you know, when we, before we got saved, uh, we, were, we, we lived in fear. Yes. We have no reason to live in fear. Amen. A saint of God has no reason to live, to, to live, to live if you will, in fear. Amen. Amen. Because God is leading us. Amen. 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 I shared, you know, three little three years ago, I went to Nigeria. My flight was canceled. It took a while to get back. It took 53 days to get back home and so forth. I was very well taken care of. I was fed good, amen. Uh, I stayed in the prophet's house and his family, amen. Uh, but yet, uh, deep down, I still wanted to come home. Yeah, I still worked through the State Department to get a flight, and it was through the State Department that I was able to return home before Mother's Day of 2020. But at the same time, I knew that God had sent me there on a mission race. Yeah. Never yeah. been to Nigeria before, amen. It was a wonderful experience, and, and uh, uh, many souls got saved. That's the, that's the main important thing, that people get saved into the kingdom of God again. Yeah. It was a great experience, and, but being led by God, Amen. Yeah, amen. I've had COVID a couple of times in my, in my life. I was in a hospital. Didn't know if I was going to 
uh, survive or make it out or not because of the oxygen of this, that, and the other. But guess what? I'm here, praise God. Amen. Amen. We have nothing to be afraid of, praise God. Amen. If you're a child of God, being led by the Spirit of God, don't be afraid. Amen. Don't allow the, uh, the mechanics of this world, uh, the leaders of this world to try to uh, discourage you or to get you down. Amen. God has you covered, praise God. Amen. He has me covered, glory to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, we know that those that served in the armed forces and those that served um, uh, as, as the, the sheriff and those deputies and so forth and the police officers and the state patrols and so forth, they, they face danger every day. Yeah. They don't know when they walk up from a vehicle if, if someone's going to pull a gun out or just get the other end in. God protect them. But those that are living for God as our sheriff here in the county, amen, he knows that God is with him when he goes, amen. Yeah, Wherever he, he goes, amen. 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 Praise God. So we don't have to be in bondage, but see, fear will put bondage on you. Yes. Many churches today are still having fear. I know some churches today in Barton County are still shut down because of the COVID. Amen. amen. And it's because of fear. Yes. Yeah. They allowed the enemy to put fear upon them, amen. Yeah. And naturally, when I went to Nigeria, I was on the flight, the pandemic was just started. I was sitting in the air airport, in the terminal, uh, in London, England, amen. And it was thousands and thousands and thousands of, of people in that one terminal, about five or six terminals in London, England. And uh, uh, we were sitting there, and some people come in, amen. And we know that uh, the, the pandemic came out of China. And there were some Chinese sitting down and they started coughing. I got up and moved to another location. Not because I had fear, because I had a respect. And if, if they are sick, if they do have the COVID, I don't want to catch them. Amen. Oh, right. Amen. Praise God. Yes. So that's the difference of having respect, but also having fear. Mm -hmm. I can say people are not in church today because of fear. That's right. Amen. Fear does not come from God. Let's go a little bit further. Verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the children of God. That's right. Amen. Yeah. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit yeah. that we are the children of God. Yeah. Amen. Hey. If you stumble, going to allow the enemy to tell you that you're not a child of God. Okay. If, you, if you say, yeah, I'm going to pray for someone, and it slips your mind, and you forget to pray for them, and the next time you see them, the enemy reminds you, you said you were going to pray for them, but you didn't. Don't allow the enemy to convince you that you are not a child of God. Because the scripture right here tells us, amen, what does it say? And if children... We go back to verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Amen. And verse 17, and that children did heirs. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the I'll read a little bit further in a minute. Heirs. Heirs. When your parents pass away, you probably, whatever they had, you probably inherited something. You would act an heir to the estate. That's right. Amen. Well, this scripture is telling us here in, in verse 17, and if children, which we are, then heirs, mm -hmm. heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, mm -hmm. if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. In other words, by being an heir, what God has is mine. All right. What Jesus has yeah. is mine, praise yeah. God. Amen. What Jesus has is yours. Yeah. What God has is yours. Amen. We are heirs to the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah. And yeah. so this body breathes its last breath. Amen. We won't enter into the kingdom of heaven, praise God. Yeah. We got to work and labor until we get to the point, amen, that we can inherit, amen, what God has built for us. Amen. Yeah. Can you imagine what Jesus said in John? 14, that in my father's house are many mansions, Amen. I go to prepare a place. Uh -huh. Now how, look how many years that Jesus is preparing a place for the saints. Yeah. That's you. 
with the children, praise God. He is preparing this place for us, glory to God. But there's things in this life that we have to go through, these things in this life we have to face, amen, until we can get to that point, that, amen, that we can enter into the kingdom of God. Yes, yes. we got to go through life. Yeah. we got things to face tomorrow. Yeah. It may be good, it may be bad, it may be all, all good or all bad. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you have to face tomorrow. My plan is tomorrow is to go work my little part-time job. Amen. That's my plan, glory to God. Yeah. And so we don't know what's going to face, praise God. But the point is... Uh, we haven't got there yet. We're working our way toward heaven, praise yeah. God. You're working your way to the yeah. Lord of God. But there's all these, all these distractions in life that tries to hinder you or hinder me or tell, or make you want to give up and quit. We can't quit, saints. Amen. I've gone too far. You see, you heard in old old time songs. I've gone too far to turn back. Amen. 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 I got too many miles behind me. Amen. Praise God. You know, a few weeks ago, we traveled to Gastonia on some business. My wife and her sister and I, and we traveled and all the way home, and then uh, it's, it's about four and a half to five hour drive, and we were driving and driving. Another sister in the congregation, I'm not going to call her name because we are alive, and then uh, not too long ago, she went to Maryland and then to visit. And I, I, that driving, it seems like it wears you out. All the driving and coming back, amen. But the closer you get home, amen, I'm almost saying. <laughs> My eyes may be getting heavy, but I can't close them, amen. amen. I may be getting tired, but I can't stop because I'm, I'm, I'm 10 miles from my destination. Yeah. Amen. We're 10 miles from heaven, praise God, if you will, yeah. amen. we got to keep pursuing. we got to keep pressing, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Yes, and this curse is going to come. And we got those that's going to doubt us. we got those that's going to talk against us, amen. They're going to talk to you. Whether you do the right thing or don't do the right thing, they still won't talk about me. Yeah. Yeah. They still won't talk about me, amen. Yeah. You know, some people say, are you, are you still over there at Growing Together Ministry? Yes, I am. But I can read their faces and tell, what in the world are you doing driving 35, 40 miles every time you go to the house of God? Because I'm being led by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. It's being yeah. led by God, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can go down to the church like five miles from the house or four miles from, not saying God won't be there, but if I'm out of the will of God, I'm like a fish out of the water. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's being in the will of God. Yeah. Being where God's leading you and directing you, praise God. Yeah. And we are His children, amen. And we're joint heirs with Him, praise God. Yeah. And the Word goes on and tells us here. In verse 18, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right. In other words, what it's saying is, that the things and the circles you're going through, yeah. it's nothing compared to what we're going to receive, praise God. Amen. It's nothing, amen. The, the, the things, uh, the, the ridicule, the backbiting, the, uh, the knife stabbing in the back, or whatever it may be, it's yeah. nothing from this suffering in this life. It's nothing compared, amen, to what Jesus has prepared for you and I, amen. So we got to hold on, amen, to get there, praise God. Yeah. We can't turn loose, amen. Uh, one, one other scripture I'm going to throw in here right quick, right quick is in Galatians 6, 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Yeah. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yeah. Yeah. Now let me give you the living yeah. translation of that same scripture. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing Amen. if we don't give up. Amen. We can't give up. Can't give up. Never give up. Brothers, we can't give up, sisters, praise yeah. God. we got to keep fighting, amen. Uh, yeah. When I, I, I shared this story, when I was in basic training, uh, the first week we had to run a mile, I mean a quarter of a mile. And the second week, and we worked our way up to a mile and a half running. And Pastor Watson, I remember, you know, I called him on, on camera, that's okay. Uh, I remember running uh, that first week. We were we were dressed in those uh, combat boots. Yeah. We had our, what we call fatigues on, the green uniform, amen. And it was hot. It was in August. I was going through basic training in 1973. And I, we went there running that track. I just wanted to stop. I just wanted to quit. Yeah. But the, but the, the, but the, um, 
The T.I. was encouraged. Was, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. And yeah. finally, I finally made it across the line. Yeah. I had to sit down. I want. <sighs> Yeah. I was so tired. I was 23 years old. That was 50 years ago. Amen. Right. That was 50 years ago that it took place. Uh, next month, uh, July, 50 years is when I went in basic training. And uh, I was running. And we did. We run that quarter of a mile every day. That was the seven days. Every day that week. But you know, by the seventh day, it was a piece of cake. Mm-hmm. It was a piece of cake running. Uh, the second week, we had to run two laps around that track, which was a half a mile. And starting off the first day, it was tough. The first lap was easy. The second lap got harder. Amen. Right. And the closer we get to heaven, the harder it gets. All right. And we can't quit. We've got to stay encouraged. Amen. We've got to hold on, glory to God, because there's something greater waiting for us Amen. on the other side. Amen. Verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails in pain together uh-huh. until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of, of our body. For we are saved by hope, yeah. but hope that is seen is not hope. Yeah. For what a man sees why does he yet hope for? Amen. But we look hope for that we not have, we have not seen. Amen. You know, I have never seen Jesus. I've seen pictures that people have painted of it. Right. But I have never seen Jesus. But I hope to see him one day. Amen. 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 Revelation chapter 21 gives you the description of what the new heaven and the new earth is going to be like. Amen. Amen. The streets of gold, the walls of jasper, and, and, and the, the crystal river, praise God. And the streets of gold are transparent, as you can see right through it, amen. It gives us a description, but it's no comparison of what it's going to be like, amen. Yeah. So my hope is that's where I'm headed to, praise God. Right. I pray that's where you are headed to, amen, yeah. in heaven, praise God. But we got to go through this mess in, of life, of whether we live one day longer or we live 50 more years or whatever it may be, we got to live won't go through this life, amen, because we are here to encourage somebody else. Right. We are here to let the light of amen. Jesus shine in our lives that others amen. can know the Christ that you know and the Christ that I know, brother. Amen. Right. We're here for a purpose. Yeah. I told my uncle the uh, other day while we were, we were talking, I said, listen, you've had uh, another thing. He was in the Korean War and he got two purple hearts. Right. He got shot twice. The first time he got shot, the bullet went right under the edge of his helmet and creased the top of his head all the way back. Right. He said blood was running. I was bleeding worse than a stuff. I mean, a stuck hog. Right. Pig. Mm-hmm. He said the neck had to be, to be right beside me. He bandaged it up and I tied a pretty bow underneath my chin and put my head back on and says, keep fighting. He said they fought for four days. In four days, they killed 97,000 Chinese. We lost lost some of our own own troops, too. About a year later, in Korea, he got shot in his right knee, shrapnel. And he still, at times, shrapnel will come out of that right knee of his. Over 50-some years after the war, what, 70 years, actually. But see, it wasn't his time to go. That's right. His appendix burst about three years ago in the hospital. Looked like he was going to die at that point. He was in his late eighties, but he survived. He was in the hospital two or three months ago. Thought he was going to die again. Guess what? Amen. When he got out of the hospital with that issue, he had an issue with a valve in his heart. Had to go back in the hospital and operate on his valve in his heart. Mm. He's able to walk. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Almost 92 years old in his right mind. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. Right mind. Amen. I said, Uncle, I said, Uncle, are you going to preach anymore? He said, Yes, sir. When God opens the door, I'm going to get up behind the pulpit 
preach again, praise God. Amen. 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 He's got work to do. Yes. yes. You've got work to do. Yes. yes. Get rid of your pity party. Just as Elijah did. Come on. Amen. Amen. It was right after all that situation with Elijah. Amen. I preached on that a few weeks ago. Elijah, then he went by and picked up Elisha. Yeah. And the scriptures tell him to go back and do the research uh, and look at the history of uh, Elisha. Walked with Elijah for over six years. So he had well over six years left of life when he wanted to die. Yes. God's not through with you yet. Amen. 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 People may be through with you, but God's not through with you yet, Amen. praise God. Amen. There's people that I can't reach that you can reach. Yes. There's Amen. people that I can't touch that you can touch, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We've got to keep working and, and, and doing what God has called us to do in this day and age. Amen. Things is going to get The Bible tells us it's going to get worse. Yes, right. So don't be surprised if something foolish happens tomorrow on the news. That's right. That's right. Amen. Work and labor. Yes. But see, with my natural eyes, I can't see heaven. Come on. Come on. By reading the word of God with my spiritual eyes. As we sung that song tonight, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Mm -hmm. Open the eyes of my heart. The eyes of I get a, a little description, if you will, in, in, in Revelation 21, what heaven looks like. And that's what I'm working my goal to get there, praise yeah. God. Yes, I want to see the streets of gold. And yes, I want to see the crystal river, amen. Yeah. And yes, I want to see if there's any fish in that river, amen. And I say right. there is a thing, amen. Yeah. And when we read there is some, praise yeah. God. Yeah. But the most important thing is I want to see Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's the yeah. one that changed my life, amen. Yeah. And yes, I've got loved ones, amen. i got my uncle's mama, my grandmama. We, we were like this when I was growing up. She, I was 14 years old when she passed away. We were this tight. We were tight, tight. Yeah, my grandmama. She was a praying woman. I was in the hospital in 1951 here in Bertie County. Uh, Dr. Jordan was my doctor, amen. And he says he's not going to make it for the night with double pneumonia. Mm. 11 months old, amen. amen. But I had a grandma that loved how to pray. Amen. I, know, I had a grandma that loved to get on her knees and talk to God, praise God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And guess what? I'm still here 73 years later, praise God. Amen. 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 Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay encouraged. Amen. Because God's got something great in store for you. It may be tomorrow. Amen. It may be midweek. It may be the end. But God's got something in store for you. Amen. Amen. But if you lose hope, what's that, what's that? don't become, let us not become weary in well-doing. Well and what you're doing for the kingdom, praise God. Amen. Don't become weary. Yes. For in due season the farmer plants his crops in the spring. Uh -huh. The seed. He don't walk out there the next day and look and see if the seed's come up. Come on, man. He knows it takes a while for the germination to take place, amen. amen. For the rain, amen, uh, to break that seed down and bring it up out of the earth, amen. Amen. Now you're seeing the corn, you're seeing the soybeans, you're seeing the tobacco and the cotton and this and the other growing, amen. They don't want to harvest it right now because the harvest season is not until the crop has reached the maturity of it, amen. Amen. The patience, the waiting, and also depending upon God to put the rain on it, the water to nourish it, amen. I know that a lot of uh, farmers are rejoicing this week because of the rain that took place in this area because they've been dry for so long. Amen. amen. Uh, we noticed the corn between here and Windsor again was last week was beginning to twist. Amen. For lack of water again. But guess what? On the way to church tonight, I didn't see one salt that was twisted. Amen. 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 It looked good, praise God. Amen. So don't become weary and we'll go for in due season we will reap. Amen. amen. We will reap, amen. The way to say to reap, amen, to walk the streets of gold, amen. 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 Every, guess what? It might be hot in here to somebody. It may be cold in here to somebody. But guess what? When we get to heaven, it's going to be perfect for everybody. Amen. 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 It ain't going to be too hot. It's not going to be too cold. Amen. It's going to be perfect for everybody. Amen. Everything in heaven is going to be perfect. We just can't imagine our minds what 
that perfection will be, praise God. Amen. 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 It's not going to be too loud. Come on. Yeah. The worship is not going to be too long. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's eternity. Yeah. We can worship God 10,000 years. I want it 10,000 years to eternity. Come on. Amen. We can bow the feet of Jesus for a hundred thousand years, praise God. But what is that compared to eternity? Oh, no, no, it's nothing compared, praise God. That's what we got looking forward to. But we can't lose heart. We can't give up because that's what we're going to receive at the end of our life. Hallelujah. Right. That point takes place. Amen. Father, we thank you for those that's in the house tonight. We thank you for Hallelujah. Be with us, O oh God, as we depart these premises tonight. Thank you, God, for the sheriff taking time out of his busy schedule, being with us this evening, O oh God. God, give him speed, give him safe journeys, O oh God. Give him safe journeys tomorrow and give him his staff, O oh God, in the name of our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.